All right, this is Helix Brightstar. I'm testing out XSplit Gamecaster, trying out the features. This is uh, Ezio Auditore de Fren da Firenze. He's recently arrived in Constantinople. <clears throat> now, this is in the first parts of the uh, of the game, and uh, let's see. Over there, we saw the bad guy, the guard. Hold on, let me turn him around. You can see a little better. And I'm, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm not used to the, uh, <laughs> to the controls. It's been, been too long. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do a ledge assassination of this guy. This guy right here. Just like that. Alright. So, um, I've tried out, um, few different uh, programs and stuff. I primarily use uh, I, have it. I primarily use uh, MSI Afterburner to record my PC game. Sorry, I'm kind of distracted because I'm still trying to remember how to use this uh, how to use my controller because <laughs> it's been so long. I've been playing most of my games on PS3 but you know with the uh, new release of the PS4 I've come to realize that uh, the graphic quality of uh, the PS3 is, uh, is not as good as like my new PC I have a new Asus that I got to Octa-Core and all that good stuff and as you see everything's in HD so I mean like Assassin's Creed 2 is not I'm still recording that but I'm still using PS3 but uh so far, this game is pretty good. Oh, there's a data fragment. Yay! Oh, I missed it. Bam! One. Like I said, I just started this game, so. Alright, since we're in this perspective, I want you to look at this right here. Eventually, I'll be able to get the hook blade for that. I don't know why it stopped. There we go. Anyway, I'm <laughs> drawing stupid shapes. Uh, and then I like the little function you have with the uh, arrows. And you can do like, you can draw them curved and stuff. Like here's another one right here. So you get a better perspective of, of whatever you're doing. Oops, I dropped my controller. <laughs> so anyway, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, of course, if you leave it on the screen, this is what will happen. Well, not that, but I keep clicking the wrong buttons. So there you go. And you just hit the delete key and they go away. Alright, so uh, I use uh, Sony Movie Studio 13 Platinum to uh, do my editing. And, uh... In my test of Broadcaster, um, it, it whenever you stream with it, it records your game quality in, uh, or not your game quality, but your game stream rather, in um, FLV. And I found a uh, a way to convert that to MP4 because MP3 doesn't work with, uh, I mean MP3, FLV doesn't work with uh, Movie Studio Platinum 13. Stop it! What is the matter with you? Um, it's a Sony product. I mean, neither does uh, Sony Vegas work with it. So, bear that in mind. Um, another good thing about the newer Assassin's Creed, just a little off subject, but is that you can jump in the water and you don't die. Remember in Assassin's Creed 1, if you did that, you'd die. Um, 
And I don't remember about Assassin's Creed 2. I haven't really thought about it, but because oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Because you go to Florence. Now, this instant. <laughs> Yeah, and you notice my notoriety's not going up yet because I'm not really done much as far as, you know, in the game. So, anyway, just kind of showcasing a little bit of how this thing works. It works pretty good. I don't have a webcam set up on my PC because the only webcams we have around here, you know, they're old and they're real crappy. So, if I don't have a higher resolution, I'm not going to waste your time or my time with that. So, add an image. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. I don't want to do Henry Peter, that's copyrighted material. Let's see. Oh wow. He <laughs> did like the whole screenshot. Oh man, I don't want that. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. He <laughs> did the whole screenshot. <laughs> All right, let's replace that. Man, that was a mistake. There we go. Let's see if I can resize this to be something more palatable. There we go. That's a little too small. There we go. And then opacity. There we go. What is this other stuff? Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay. So, I have a set. Yeah, it's in game. And this shouldn't be in the way right there. Alright, so we'll get back to it. Because I'm not going to make this very long. Oh, I don't like that. It's too. I guess I will make it more opaque. Opaque. Try that at 77. Yeah, that looks good. All right, that looks better. So did I loot him? Yeah, I did. Whoops. See, in other games, you click the right button and you uh, you do your running. In this game, you have to hold the right trigger. So anyway, it's a little different. But the best thing about it is it's an HD. I mean, that's an awesome feature to me. I've got a chest. Alright. So we're going to go over there to that assassin's uh, den. So that I can synchronize. Hey, Sorry, dude. Some respect for your fellow man, yeah, no? yeah, whatever. Alright. Usually there's like a sink point. Well, it's not a tower, I guess that's why. Oh, there it is right there. I passed it up. Let's see. Alright, come over to the side. There we go. We all sync my progress and don't lose it before I stop this video. And I believe I've already synced this one. But as you see, everything's very clear in this game, and it's, uh, X, X Split Game Caster is pretty easy to use. Um, and then I'll do a separate review for uh, X Split Broadcaster. <clears throat> All right, well, hopefully everything will go well, and hopefully you'll see this video today.
thank you very much for joining me hope you like my review um, I do have some notes here before I stop the recording that I made just to go over um, it's a solid capture program it's easier to configure and use than broadcaster is that is one note I will say um, and some of the features that are in uh, Broadcaster, they've kind of streamlined in uh, Gamecaster, like the announcements and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and so far as I can tell, you can only post to YouTube directly, which is, is kind of a con, but it's okay. And the other pros are easy to set up, configure, it's easy to use, works really well for recording gameplay. And it works well with my Elgato Game Capture HD for when I want to record my uh, PS3 version or PS3 version of these games. And um, the uh, software, uh, El the Elgato software for the game capturing is a system hog. It takes up a lot of resources, so it reduces my streaming. Even though I have an octa-core processor with uh, a standard 3.3 gigahertz uh, pro uh, core processor turbos 4.2 gigahertz you know and then I have uh, a video card it's an AMD video card that has a gigabyte of RAM on board you know so I don't know what the problem is with the uh, the Elgato software why it's such a system hog but it is and uh, Gamecaster really uh, fixes you know that whole problem for me so I can stream in HD quality and everything's good so um, like I said, it's easy to use. It works really well for my recording gameplay, and it records in the format I need to put it in my uh, my uh, Sony Movie Studio Platinum 13, or 13 Platinum, whatever. Um, and the file sizes of the recordings are much smaller than those recorded with other game capturing software, uh, such as uh, MSI Afterburner, which I'm primarily use for the uh, my PC recordings, and the Elgato records pretty. Uh, Pretty, pretty similar sized um, files, but they are a little bit bigger. So, if you record a bunch of game play like I do, different games and stuff like that, to get them up, because I'm a new YouTuber and my gaming channel is new and I'm trying to get it up and running. So, um, I'm trying to do a lot of different things at once to get get my gameplay out there, so that over time I'll get recognized and people will see it. And the primary purpose of me making my gameplay walkthroughs is to help other people the same way that other gamers have recorded software and uh, software tutorials and uh, gaming tutorials that helped me. And when I got stuck in different places with different programs on my computer or whatever, and then uh, different games that I was playing, you know, there's several people that have, have helped me out, you know, by putting their walkthroughs up there. And I want to do the same thing off of the same thing to other people. So um, please click that like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I'll keep working on these, keep putting them out there, and I hope you like them. I hope they help somebody. I hope they help a lot of somebody's. Um, thanks for watching. All right, have a great day.